Hey folks, Jen or Margriffin here, and today we're going to take a look at the Segeli ZMAX with the OLED screen. It is a variable voltage, variable wattage, so variable power uh, mod. Runs on an 18650, and it is, uh, you know, available for 80 bucks or less. Um, so let's take a look at the details. So let's take a look at the Segeli ZMAX. Why they named it the same as another company's product, I'm not sure. Uh, bottom cap, eh, fairly flimsy spring. Um, I did have some trouble with this with shorter, not button top batteries. It works fine with the AW IMRs, but I had some weird short messages and some other stuff with a, I'll show you that later, kind of a non-branded IMR battery. Um, you turn it in, it comes on, and it gives it... Uh, it's not really a logo, it just says Segeli. The nice thing about this, uh, big drip well. The nice thing about this is it is an OLED screen, which is very easy to read. It is just slightly longer, slightly longer, like a quarter of an inch, than the ProVari with the 18650 extension cap. It is a little lighter, because it's aluminum and not stainless steel. Um, push the button, bring on the menu, uh, and it'll say system on or system off, depending on what you have set in here, the first option, which is auto on or auto off. Turn it off, make it profit, uh, pocket friendly. Number two is power up, number three is power down. Um, uh, in wattage, it goes by 0.5 up and down. Um, and when you change to voltage, those will say voltage up or down, which is kind of cool. So down by half or up by half. And I constantly scroll too far. Uh, battery voltage, LCD display, what information you want it to show, voltage, resistance, which annoyingly scrolls too many times before it disappears, or your battery voltage. Um, I usually leave it as voltage, which of course in variable wattage mode shows your watch you have it set to. Um, or you can turn the LCD on and off. I always go too far through these. Battery voltage shows you the voltage of the battery currently. I've been using it for a little bit, so it's 4.1 instead of 4.2. Turn the LCD on or off so it doesn't light up. The important one, number seven, power voltage. This is where you change between power or variable wattage and variable voltage. So now it's on a voltage, and it will show voltage up and voltage down and it goes by 0.1 from 3 to 6, and then it will roll over again. Not that anyone really vapes at 3 volts, but you know what I mean. And I'm going to go back to power, because that's just what I prefer. Okay, and the last option is kind of confusing. Is it going to use the average to figure out what wattage to fire at, the mean, or is it going to use RMS? Set it to RMS and forget about it. Um, on mean, it, it to me, put out way too much power. Uh, on the RMS, it seems to function pretty much exactly as Darwin's and Kicks have led me to expect. Um, so I would go with that. We covered everything else or by just flipping through these menus for no reason. I'll probably flip it for no reason. But it's a nice screen to read. So, and again, the important thing is on power up, it has a limit of 5 amps, so it will go up to 15 watts, and then it will roll back to 3, but again, only in half watt increments. So you can't get 7.2 or 8.3. In the same way, it'll go to 3 and then roll back to 15. Round robin. And if we go to... Oh, it went too far again. I always do that. If we go to voltage, it'll do the same thing, only in point 0.1 increments this time. From 3 
to six, and then it will roll back to three in the same way in reverse. Um, now notice when you reset it between power and voltage, it doesn't remember where you had it set last time. It goes back to the base. So, you know, nothing's perfect. So, LCD display. I have it set to show the voltage or the wattage. Um, when you want to choose resistance or you can show the battery voltage but if you get to resistance because the word is so long it like scrolls past like three times before it will actually choose that option and then when you fire it shows you the resistance of your atomizer or cartomizer in this case it's a rebuildable so we'll take that back to uh, something shorter It's battery when you fire you'll get your current voltage and I'm going to take it back to showing the voltage or power I'm going to switch back to power and we're all set ready to vape So that's the Segele Z Max. Um, I really like the fact that we're coming up with a lot more variable power or variable wattage devices in a different form factor. The only alternative we've had to this point is the Darwin or something with a kick in it or something running on a DNA, which often doesn't have an LCD screen, although the DNA 2.0 will provide that. Um, the menus on this are pretty much very clones except there's the added uh, RMS and mean change and the variation between uh, what you can show on the screen and whether you're using variable wattage or variable voltage. Um, it's the lightest and kind of least solid of the new Chinese devices that are offering variable wattage. Um, if you like that I have this one in the black you can see the little ridges on it that are pretty much you know, Provary clones, although not as solid. Um, the button is nice and clicky. Um, the screen is very, very easy to read. Um, but I run into the same thing that I ran into the with the Provary at first, which is just sort of a nitpick in that, you know, you got to scroll through the menu. And I scroll too far because I don't know right where they are yet. You know, on the Provary, it's to the point where I have it memorized and I know exactly how many times to hit it to get to what I want. But that's just sort of a nitpick. Um, the spring in here could be a little sturdier. Um, I have had some problems with some, like, non-branded um, IMR batteries that don't have the button top um, that appear to be slightly smaller than the um, AW IMRs tried putting battery spacers in there and everything. Um, I don't know if it wasn't uh, quite making contact or the spring didn't have enough tension. I suppose I could replace that spring myself. Um, but with the AW IMRs, I don't have those problems. What was happening was pretty much any cardamizer I put on it would give the error short on the screen. And when I put like one of my rebuildables on it, it went all sorts of funny and the screen went to like half light power. It was sort of weird. So. This is the only one of the latest Chinese devices that has done some funky stuff with different batteries on it or, you know, have had odd issues. But with the AW IMR 1600 milliamp hour in here, there hasn't been a problem whatsoever. Um, so that is the ZMAX from Segele. Um, screen's really easy to read. Um, it works. You get variable voltage or more importantly variable wattage for uh, under 100 bucks can't beat that i'm glad that these alternatives are available for people so um it's been pretty solid um i do like a couple of the other ones that have come out a little better than this one um but you may like the way this one looks better so your mileage may vary